This will look at always that. be the shit. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at Billy. Billy's the truth. Billy, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at, that. Look at all that. What's up, everybody? What's going, What's on, going on? What's going on? It's another episode of the Plug with RX Superstar. I'm RX Superstar. And this is episode 82. This is Throwback Thursday. And we're streaming Metal Slugs and Ology. Which means we're playing all Metal Slugs. From 1 through 6. And a little bit of X. But not X-rated. But I'm RX Superstar. And this right here is from Finding Home Pictures. Amos Martinez. What's up, everybody? How you doing? What's up, everybody? How you doing? Shout out to all the viewers out there. I'm RX Superstar. Thank you for tuning in. This is Aramis Martinez from Finding Home Pictures. We about to kick into this Metal Slugs right now. Are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? You ready? Let's do it. Let's do this. So before we start, make sure you sit back, relax, grab yourself your favorite snacks. Because you know we got the popcorn here. Oh, Aramis, yeah. you take one. I take one. Ching, yeah. ching. Ching, ching. And let's get this on, folks. So let's play Metal Slugs. So if we recall Metal Slugs. Metal Slugs been around since 90s. 96, I believe, and a lot of stuff happened in 1996. A lot of stuff happened. Tupac, nice. Biggie. East Coast, West Coast for East Coast, West Coast. Um, Metal Slug, um, Contra, Nintendo. I think the first Power Rangers movie came out in 96. PlayStation. Power Rangers oh. might have came out in 96 or that 97. Movie? 96 movie. or 97. All right. Make sure you go check out Power Rangers right now on digital download. Go get it. It's coming out 27, June 27th on Blu ray DVD. So basically, we're going to kick into this. Everybody know Metal uh, Slugs. That's Marcos. And I think that's Keith or Kane or something like that. Basically, Metal Slugs is a game from 1996. It was like the counterpart to Contra. I said the difference was the difference between those two was Contra had two two soldiers that battle against other lands and other troops and stuff like that. Like you know, GI Joe versus Cobra, basically in a way. You know what? I mean, that's just real cool. That's why this is the club with RX Superstar. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for coming on Throwback Thursday. This is Aramis's second appearance. On the plug with RX Superstar, but this oh. time he's not oh, dressed up. Oh, they're throwing grenades! They're throwing grenades! They're throwing grenades! You gotta watch out for the grenades. You throw grenades, you press the box. For, uh, basically, with Con basically with the Full Metal Slug and Contra and all those space fighting games, you power up, you proceed, you kill oh, a bunch shit. of. Oh, I died. No profanity on the plug with RX Superstar. You go in the box. If you say son again, you go in the box. Yeah, we keep it PG here, like WWE. Sometimes a little bloodshot, a little headshot, or whatever. You might get RKO, just be careful. Whoa. And stuff like that. But basically, Metal Slugs is basically the counterpart of uh, Contra. Except the difference was, Contra had two soldiers. Metal Slug had a whole platoon, a whole squadron, basically. But Metal Slugs reminds me more of, like, remember that Charlie Sheen movie, Hot Shots Part Oh, my God. Charlie That's what it Sheen. reminds me of. Daddy, you remember that movie? Remember that movie? Yeah, when you shot the arrow with the little chicken with the, chicken, the hen. Yeah, yeah, that was the hen for Muppets, by the way. Really? A lot of people don't know that. Oh, that's, that's, that's a little, uh, what you call it? Little, uh, remember the little hens that Gonzo Easter had? Egg, little yes. chicks? A little Easter egg right there. A little, exactly, a little Easter egg right there. Just like in the um, Metal Slug, it's an Easter egg. Make sure you kill everything. Make sure you get everything. We're going to play all six chapters. Oh, okay, I got the So we down. want you, yeah, you gotta get crazy where you get tanks, oh, you get aircraft, you get everything. Just imagine this, and also, Metal Slugs will also remind you of Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, it does remind you of Predator. You know who else was on Predator, right? Who else was on Predator? Jesse the Body Ventura. Yes, Jesse the Body Ventura, folks from wrestling, also became the governor. I forgot which state. Uh, Minnesota. The governor of Minnesota, where Gordon Bobbay comes from, from the Mighty Ducks. Gordon Bombay, Gordon Bombay, Mighty Ducks. Remember, uh, who was the king back that was in Mighty Ducks? So this guy. I need you to Josh, get this tank. Josh, Joshua Jackson. What is uh, uh, Dawson's Creek? That dude. Dawson's Creek. Yeah, that's it. Is. That was Charlie. Yes, it was he Charlie. He played Charlie. He played the little boy. He stuff. played Charlie. 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 Charlie was the truth, though. He was the captain. Oh, let's go crazy, Aaron. I, I just remember the original. Uh, I forgot the guy that was. Uh, what guy? Uh, 
That guy that you can call the knuckle, knuckle puck? Knuckle puck Keenan Thompson came Kenan, home. Oh, that's right, that was hey, Keenan. Keenan Thompson's on Saturday Night Live. You know, he's the he's actually the longest cast made member now. You know that now, oh, right? Died. You know, oh, uh, yeah, so you know. press start. Press start right here. Boom, that's select. No, we go to continue. Press start. I think I used the ball of lives. I think so, no, you know. Type in your name. He's like, hey, 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 hey. hey. Then you press start again. That's right, Aaron, this is Dominican and everything. So, Aramis, so, you know, Metal Slugs, whatever it might remind you of, also with Metal Slugs, or something similar to Metal Slugs, because I'm thinking of, like, Drake Fortune, which is out right now on the PlayStation Store. Go get Drake that. Fortune. Tomb Raider with Laura Croft. Tomb Raider. Go check that out. I remember this movie from back in the day, because now I'm saying my age, like I always do, Jewel of the Nile. Jewel of the Nile? What with is Douglas, that? With Douglas, with, um... What was his name? Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas. Okay. Michael Douglas was the jewel of the hour, basically, where he was uh, like a treasure hunter or whatever, and he found this jewel, and he was with this woman. It turned into like some pretty woman joint, and they went back and forth from the jungle to the city. You just gotta check it out on Netflix right now. Also, you know what you gotta check out on Netflix? Check out everything that's on Netflix. But they got everything you need. Everything you need from horror, from superhero movies, from drama, from suspense, from comedy, which that Tracy Morgan and Dave Chappelle go watch that, I recommend that. Yeah, that does. That, that was pretty good. Cool. I love that comedy. I love Tracy. Tracy's funny. Um, what's you watching right now on Netflix? What's your I'm watching right now on Netflix, besides everything. Um, I'm finishing up Voltron, the new series that's on right now. I have not seen Oh, you gotta check out Voltron, man. Like, oh, man. like, see, done. but Aramis is the type of person that's like, it he takes doesn't, forever yeah. to watch that. <laughs> and he doesn't really like reboots like that. Like, he sticks to the classics of what he grew up with. So he's originally from the Gold Lion series of Netflix, of, of, of Voltron, the original Voltron from the 80s, folks. Oh, I just stopped in the pool. Oh, where that big oh, oh. fish come from? Rocket launcher. Yo, know, you jump in the water and there's a big, um, oh, 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 like, oh, so you can't jump in the <coughs> Make sure you got your popcorn and your snacks ready. So what's your favorite snack when you like playing video games, watching movies? Or when you're doing your monologues? Because Aramis is an actor, folks. Uh, uh, favorite snack? I would have to say... Remember, find their home pictures, that music video from Rebel Matic, No Limit. You can see Aaron is dressed up in his business suit and everything. Uh, in gray weather. You had a nice little cameo in that. Yeah, well. had a cameo in there. Everybody know that. We also shout out to Hernan out there. Producer H. Part. Producer H right there. He's probably watching both, right now. Founder of Shining Home Pictures as well. Exactly. Lifelong friend. Make sure you check out the episode he was on. Make sure you check out Aramis on the episode of Plug. He was on a Halloween. No, he was on the Batman Tell Series episode. Make sure you go check that out on the YouTube and the web uh, and the Twitch. And shout out to all the YouTubers right now that are watching. That's probably YouTuber right there. <sighs> exactly. Shout out to all the YouTubers out there that's watching. Please share with your friends and family. Let them share with their friends and family. Let them share their friends with friends and family. We got a saying here. Tune in and tell a friend. Yeah. Well, tell two friends to tell two friends. And Even tell better. them to tell two, two friends. friends. And then we can get to three friends. friends. Speaking of Puff Daddy, and I love that song. What was that? Big Papa, right? Yeah, we're yeah Biggie Small. Well, Big Papa, speaking of Puff Daddy and stuff like that, Puff Daddy is doing those independent films. You know, making of bad boys, boys, basically. So all his social media outlets that he's doing the videos is all going to be a part of that. Everything from all the red carpets he attends, from the business side, the father side, the husband side, the son side. Basically, it's all Diddy. The reason why he came up with this movie is because a lot of people have been passing away recently and movies and he's like, I don't want you to... R.I.P. Prodigy. Exactly, R.I.P. Prodigy. Keep it down low! That's right. Put R.I.P. Prodigy. Um, I'm not going to say what happened or how he died, but I know what happened, but I'll tell you Aaron is after the show. We're not going to keep it. We're going to just keep it righteous. Just keep it cool. Keep going. Keep it positive. Well, go out there and support Mob Deep still. Go get the music. You know what I'm saying? All the proceeds that go to his, it goes to his kids. He got a lot of kids, folks. But Prodigy was the truth because he, whatever he stepped in and whatever he wanted to know about and, and read about and talk about, he studied it. Like if he was in college, like he was in school. 
He's a very articulate dude. So he was he and he he was discovering the Illuminati. So he talked about it in his last album. Go get his last album. And we are gonna switch something. We are gonna keep you righteous. Shout out to our sponsors out there. You always cool. Shout out to Soul Tree out there. Make sure you check out their monthly live events. I will, die, I will be at their next live event. So come out. Hope you get to come out too, Amos. Definitely check and, it out. And speaking of Solar Tree, I like to present this to you. Anytime you go to Solar Tree, first time admission, 50% off. Oh, Mention you. my name. Check it out, yo. Mention <laughs> RX Superstar. And you get 50% off. So that's a little cool. A little cool gift. A little cool. Definitely pretty good. Definitely check it out. So well, shout out to Solar Tree. Let's say it. Shout so, out to Solar, Solar, Solar Tree. Where in Solar Tree they show music events, showcases of like talented local um, artists. They featured me on their posts <laughs> and stuff. Ooh, bless you. Thank you. I have been posted in a lot of TV shows with humans. We got allergies. <laughs> Where am I? You're in the tank. I'm in the tank? I'm not even paying attention to what's going on. You're in the on. tank. Yo, you gotta kill the, the, the I'm the not even things. paying attention. But this is how Metal Slug was. Metal Slug is basically a cool game. It's a long hour game. It keeps you on your toes. And you got six chapters of it. Come on. Or really seven, eight games. We about to get in. We about to quit this one. We about to get out, get out of this one. And go to the next one. Metal Slugs 2 right after this stage right here. Because I wanted to show them the stage right here. Because this reminds me of Indiana Jones a little bit. If it was mixed with like uh, Air Pirates from Tailspin. Tailspin was a dope. The Disney Afternoon. So we and Tailspin came out with a game. Make sure you go check out the episode of Disney Afternoon. Go get the Disney Afternoon game. Go get Metal Slugs and Ology. It has all the games. Save yourself a couple of bucks. But they should do a Metal Slug game, a uh, 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 movie, because then you got the Marine, you got uh, you got the uh, uh, Hot Shots for the, uh, you got. Uh, Air Force with Chuck Norris. You got a bunch of movies like this. You know what I'm saying? So why not a metal slug? You know, especially like with uh, Hollywood, they always trying to look up for uh, like new content and new movies and stuff like that. Like, you definitely market it. Right. Yeah, but you know, I like them to see that. I like to see that like metal slug, that, like a movie. Like we see the characters. Cause all of, if you think about it, Metal Slug would do, it would do great because it's nothing but special effects and blowing up stuff. Yeah, it's a great summer movie. You don't really need, yeah, a summer movie it could be a spring movie, you know, or the end of summer. You know, it's a really cool movie. Or you could do straight to DVD, whatever. So let's kill this boss. So that's basically what we're going to do is go to these boss, kill them, and go to the next thing. Right, no but we got to show them a little bit of boss because if you're looking at the boss right now, what he reminds you of. It reminds me of the Red Ribbon Army. Like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> yes, I know who you talk about. And, uh, what's the, the Red Ribbon Army. Oh, so this is the dude, General, man. General. General's, not General Zod. Not Zod, General Zod. Uh, Superman. Superman. Uh, Superman. Make sure you go check out that Justice League 2 trailer that came was just released. So we beat them. Mm -hmm. We conquered Metal Slug 1. Even though it's not the entire game, we encourage you to get the entire game. We're going off to level 2. So we're on level 2. Yeah, we're going to go. Since it's level 2, we're going to go. Two Metal Slugs too, and also look at the graphics of back in the days of PlayStation One, folks, and two. We're like, looking at. You know, it's kind of crazy because like, like, think back, like we're older now, but like we never thought that this progression of games would get to like this, the level that is at now, where we got like. I Oculus I, I kind of always knew, and that's why you all, you guys always like he always played the games because I kind of knew the tournaments and stuff, and I kind of knew that the tournaments that was being. Like in Neutral Underground, shout out to Neutral Underground, all the people that went there, all the tournaments and stuff, shout out to Neo Geo, because Neo Geo is the one that brought us Metal Slugs, Neo Geo, yeah. and Sega was phenomenal, it's a software company now, it's all, they used to do consoles, so as you can see, the graphics changed, so now we're in the 6-bit, 16-bit, see how the graphics have changed, it's kind of like a little bit of Star Wars, yeah. you know what I mean, so let's get into this, Aramis, and let's kick some more butt. So this time you get to pick, the, it's the same characters before. So you can either go, it doesn't really matter to me. Does anybody got any special power-ups? Everyone has their own ability, their own special powers, right. own grenades I'm, I'm, and stuff. I'm, I'm but the whole slow. point of the game is, is you're just moving forward, shooting stuff and blowing things up. I'm always down with that. Oh no, that's... 
bag, so I gotta find out to get them. Okay. So let's go. Let's do it. Mission Rick, so I'm always gonna pick Marco. Start. Because he's the start of all this stuff. So. He's the commander chief like you, the G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. Speaking of G.I. Joe, all you 80s and 90s and 70s that grew up with Anna Barbera, like Aramis is about to find out, go check out Future Quest. Johnny Quest has his own comic book. Anna Barbera has their own comic book. DC bought the rights and they released Future Quest where Johnny Quest grabbed up all the superheroes from Anna Barbera, like Space Ghost. Herculoids. Oh, really? Mitchell. My tour. Yeah, I missed the Hercules. Hercules, Hercules, you can catch on Boomerang or YouTube, or you can go on Amazon Prime and go down, go buy it on digital download, or go get it. Oh, Aramis, we gotta take care of everybody in Africa. Gee, where you at? Speaking of Aladdin, Aladdin's coming out with a live action. Beauty and the Beast, we see it has a live action that's out. It's out on digital download. And the wait is not over. Lion King live action is coming out sooner than expected, folks. Really? Yes. Lion King live action? I yes. Not know that. It's coming out in 2018, I believe, right after Black Panther. Oh, Black Panther. I, I, that's the one movie. Like, I'm Black super Panther's going to be excited. Dope. Now, you get to see the guy who played James Brown while out. Now, Aaron's got a camel with a cat. Now, <laughs> now, how awesome is this? And also, Metal Slug is an indie game, by the way. Oh, so it wasn't like a major release kind of thing? It is a major release because it was the first of its kind. But a lot of games followed after Middle Slugs as well. Uh -huh. So this is like the, the godfather of like kind of yes. button smashing kind of yes. games where you just like, yes. uh, you just have time. This is more like a husband's game, the boyfriend game. Like you just sit there until the ladies get ready. And then the kids are getting ready. So you got like two hours. So, so you got two, two hours, hours yeah. you know, two hours to kill to yourself and everything. You know, that's Aramis' back. I mean, <laughs> don't kill me. <laughs> Love you, baby. <laughs> Shout out to all the ladies out there that watch the show with Marvel Super Superstar. I'm Marvel Superstar. And this is episode 82 of the Stowback Thursday. And we're streaming to you, Metal Slugs and Ology. Mm. Which means it's all the Metal Slugs. We just showed you part one. Now this is part two. Shout out to all the viewers out there. I'm Marvin Superstar. This is our special guest from Honey Fine Home Pictures, Aramis up, Martinez. What's up, everybody? I'm so, trying to kill this, this plane right now. I won't die. This plane slash killing with my camel cannon. <laughs> Yo, why the guy over there look like one of the guys from, uh, from the general from Aladdin? I forgot his name. Oh, I don't know. You know what? He looks like... The general from like the mummy, you know the dude. The shout creepy. out to Bozzy in the chat room right now. Shout out to Bozzy. Shout out to She Runs New York. Mission shout out to Tanisha, uh, which well, is another fellow um, gamer. Uh, shout out to Omni. Mission who Omni was a get, who was a, a fan of the show, oh, okay. who interacted with us with a game. Oh, so he was playing Overwatch. Omni. Shout out to him. So I like to ask oh, you a question. My, I miss my camera. So let's kit let's catch up with Aramis. Right? So Aramis, let's catch up with Aramis. So sure, tell sure. the folks out there what you've been up to, what's going on. When yeah. we last left off from the no limit on shoot. Oh uh, well from the no limit shoot, I've been doing uh, several uh episodes of um, I shot a episode of called uh one second uh uh I don't remember the name of the show. It's the mummies. The mummies. The mummies. They got me mummies. focused. Got Sorry. They yeah. turned you into a mummy. Uh, uh, That's pretty cool. Called, uh, nah, he turned me into a mummy. Remember mummies? Mummies yeah. alive? Uh, I did a show called The Dark Shadows that will be airing on the Discovery Channel. Uh, I Check did, that out. Uh, sometime at the end of this year. I also did uh, a show with um, the guy who did America's Most Wanted. I can't. I can't remember the name of the guy, uh, the dude that did America's Most Wanted, uh, John Walsh. John Walsh, there you go. Yeah, so I did a show called oh, the, Hunt, kids. The, the Hunt for John Walsh. I did a show for him that should be coming out later on this year. Um, this Sunday, to be honest with you, I'm shooting a film called Trust. And it's basically about, uh, it's, it's basically about a professor who challenges uh, two girls. Um, one girl, uh, she wants to live her life on trusting people, and one girl, trust, uh, living her life 
not trusting people. Okay. And it's more of a study of just like comparison uh, of trust and not trust. Yeah, people. in our society, do you trust people or don't don't you trust people? Okay. And it's a, it's a very interesting concept. It is very interesting. Uh, it, we're shooting it. We're shooting actually the last scene. I'm because you can trust everybody here at the plug with RX Superstar. Yeah, definitely. We keeping it friendly here, at PT13. Yeah. Um, so actually, I'm playing one of the characters who uh, actually helps the one of the girls, and unfortunately, she lives her life not trusting anybody. And I'm basically trying to save her. From, I don't want to say too much of the story, but basically, I try to save her from a very dangerous situation that she doesn't really trust me. Okay. And something happens. Wow. So, so you gotta find out. Let's not give them the ball. You gotta tune in. Follow Amos and all his social media outlets, his website. He's about to let you in right now. Uh, He's going to plug you in and where to find him and keep updates on him. Right. You can find me on uh, Twitter, uh, Hollywood Aramis. On Instagram, um, I am Aramis Martinez. And you can find me on my uh, my website, my website, AramisMartinez.com. Uh, you can also find me on my blog, uh, SnapFamous.wordpress.com. You can find me on all those things. Again, my Twitter is Hollywood Aramis. My Instagram is I am Aramis Martinez. Uh, website AramisMartinez.com. And my blog is SnapFamous.wordpress.com. Yes. So make sure you go follow him on all his social media outlets. Check out his website. Keep up to date with Aramis and his career, his passion. So, how does the geek world, pop culture world, influence you? In your passion, your pursuit of what you like to do, like in the acting and right. video and all that. So, I, I think, uh, especially with like geek culture, like cartoons, uh, anime. Like, what inspire you? Like, I think from an early age, I just love stories and like growing up, like Dragon Ball Z, um, anime, uh, cartoons. I would just always love the one, the actual drawings of the cartoons. And also the storylines. I was always drawn to like stories, so I, I think that has really influenced me on becoming an uh, actor. Okay. Like I just want to live my life telling stories, and, and I think that's that's kind of that's kind of dope. Kind of reminds me of like you know Justice League, how you write the great stories, right, right, like the Goonies, stuff like, like Goonies, that, like you know? Goonies is a classic. Like that's that, like those are the things that I I want to as an actor great stories that people will talk to long, oh! after, long after I'm I'm, I'm dead. Yes, after we gone from this world, we so like I to want, leave our video log. Right, I want to leave some kind of... Like uh, this video log right now, exactly. which is the plug with RX Superstar from Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 to 7 p.m. live, www.twitch.tv forward slash RX Superstar. Make sure you check out the plug's Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash the plug with RX Superstar. Check out the Monday through Sunday feature film and we're showing Gargoyles. Oh, Awakening. Gargoyles. Remember Gargoyles? Yeah, Gargoyles was... Gargoyles was actually a movie and it was turned into a five-part episode series when it first came out. Oh, I got a shotgun. Oh, man. Shot, yeah, you got a shotgun turned into mummies. You gotta go that way. Jumping around and everything. But... Oh, I can't... Oh, now I'm, I'm a mummy. Mummy's oh, alive. So what's cool about Metal Slugs 2 you know, is mummy, you could pick. Of course, Mummy's alive. I used to go to school late because of Mummy's alive. Yeah, a lot of stuff, Pokemon. A lot of stuff, Pokemon, Digimon, which is Digimon is actually back out. Really? The Digimon that we grew up with, they grew up too, and they're back in a whole new series. But their release of their series is every month because it's a movie mm -hmm. series. So basically, they couldn't do it in the series, so they had to do it in like in a monthly, like in a movie series, like uh, Dragon Ball Z, like Dragon Ball Z the movies was. Right, right, right. But it's still canon, right? Is it, or is it something else? It's, it's a little bit of both. A little, a little bit, bit of both. A little bit of both. Because that's the way anime is going, and that's the way everything is functioning now. And you know, make sure you go check out Power Rangers. That's coming out. Yo, speaking of Power Rangers, go make sure you go check out Volume 3 of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Check out Volume 3. It shows the continuation of what happened and why everybody's green. And it shows the introduction of Lord Durkin. So make sure you go. It's an ultra universe that they go to and stuff like that. All the cool Black Rangers that was there, if I showed you in the last episode. 
So we're gonna get out this Metal Slugs and we're gonna go to Metal Slugs 3. Cool. While I'm showing everybody this right here, right now. Um, let me see that. Uh, this. He, sure, just, he, just rec he just recently showed me this and like this is pretty dope. Uh, if you're a really big Power Rangers fan, I highly just suggest it. I'm actually. All of you like to read about Power Rangers, shout out to all the viewers out there. I'm Marvex Superstar. This is our special guest, Aramis, and we got on the chat. Bodies in the building. He said, what's what remember with Duck Fellas? What's going on? What I missed? Well, you missed chat episode. Well, you missed Metal uh, Slugs 1, Metal Slugs 2. We're showing right now Power Rangers. We're in the comic book. We're about to show comic books and everything. We're about to get into Metal Slugs X, which is like a continuation of Metal Slugs 1 and 2 in the mix. So we're just going to play a little bit of that. Shout out to all the viewers out there. I'm Rick Superstar. So this Thank one, you for tuning in so for another one, episode. This one came out when? This is uh, this, this is one for this what one, system? This one, well, every Metal Slug came out for all systems. Oh, uh, okay. For PlayStation, yeah, Xbox, Nintendo, all Nintendo systems, handheld, whatever. It doesn't matter. Metal Slug was always around. And then SNK picked them up. Mm. So they was always freelancing around. See how the graphics change a little bit. Yeah, right. So basically, this is like one and two mixing together, like the story of one and two. Because you gotta play the game to understand the story. Go out there and get the game, folks. Go out there and play it. Because Aramis is enjoying himself with these games. So, <laughs> all right, did it freeze? Oh no, it didn't freeze, folks. It just it takes it. It just takes time. So basically, it's like the same game we just finished playing. We pick the characters, same graphics. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick tomorrow. How you said tomorrow? Tomorrow. There you yeah. go. Tomorrow. I'm picking tomorrow. So let's continue. You got so, the square. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Suit me. So about that. See, that yeah. changed right there. Mission Thank you. One. So now we're back in the, the desert sand of Agrabah. <laughs> So this is basically the same exact story, same what's going on. That's what X was all about. But X was mostly released and then this is when they went on handheld systems. Uh, so, so this is more like, for like Game Boy or like Game, Game Boy, Boy Game, Game Gear, uh, Super Boy controller, like stuff like that, you know, the handheld games. Like Game Boy Color, mostly Game Boy Color. Uh, this is when the game handheld at their time was revolutionizing the world. I have my Game Boy Pocket. Yeah, Game Boy Pocket, Game Gear. Even this was on the sidekick, folks. This was on the sidekick? Yes. Oh, the slider. Oh, That's how advanced this game was. And then it okay. came on the PSP later on. Then it came on the different versions of Nintendo Advance, Nintendo SP, Nintendo DX, um, YXYZ. There's so many DXs, like, what's DX? You got a DX? Alright, cool, you got a DX. I don't need to know which one DX you got. You got a DX, that's cool. What game you playing? Uh, and there's too many. So we gotta beat the, the same thing before. It's basically the same game, but it's more enhanced graphics than before. Yeah, the graphics is a little bit better. It's all right, yeah. We're streaming on the PlayStation 4, folks, from Batman. You can tell. See? You know, he got ready to drop him. Make sure you check out the special of God of War. God of War coming out. How you feel about God of War coming out? Yo, I'm, I, I'm a oh, big. I want a candy too. Uh, why I can't get a robot candy? Get on that one. I tried to. He get on that. Like, there you go. There you go. I got it. Get on yeah. it. Oh, they hating on me. They get mad. Get on, get on they mad. They just mad. That camera's good. So basically, we're playing the same stage, same board, same thing. But, you know, same villain. Yo, damn. It's, how did he stab me? Why he just stab me? Where the baby come from? Oh, no, the baby doing Why he doing handstands? Hand you over here doing gymnastics? What are you doing, Let's baby? Do a little cop, cop we live right now. We live. Hey, yo, we got a most, we got a camel, and we got a tank. I feel like this is Tank Girl. <laughs> like Tank Girl is the world like this too. Yeah. If you think about it, also JoJo Bizarre Adventures, also Fist of the North Star is like this, a world like this. Like, imagine Fist of the North Star was like this. You remember Fish of the North Star, the man, the man with seven scars, the pressure point? Man, check out Fish of the North Star on Netflix, all Country Road. Check out Country Road 2 or Saint Seiya, and also check out Tokyo Ghoul. Check out, man, just go to, just go to countryroad.com and go check it out. Countryroad.com, that's the anime I've not seen. If you never heard about any of that stuff, hit me up your plug. If you want to know about anime or anything, email me at rxsuperstar at gmail.com. Amherst, email me if you want to know an anime. If you've like, never seen nothing, want some me. advice for me, hey, let me up. DM me on all my social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, at rxsuperstar. 
Subscribe to my Twitch and YouTube. Speaking about anime, so what's your favorite anime? That's a hard question for me, man, because you gotta see what John does or what Phil That's like actually what's my favorite video game. And I have to tell you the same thing. It's like which element, which fat, which shit, which mechanics, which like. Alright, so, alright, so, uh, we'll, we'll, okay, so top five anime. My top five anime? Yeah. Dragon Ball. Uh, Dragon Ball, classic. Dragon Ball Z, all super. Anything you gotta do with Vegeta and Goku, I'm in it. Even when it was in One Piece. There was um, One Piece? Yeah, it was One Piece, it was a special episode. And with other anime too, they were all in the tournament together. See, I'm the plug. I'm you are the plug. You know everything. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm you trying to. You know everything about like anime, geek, games. You know the the backstory. Yo, you the Wikipedia of video games. I appreciate that. That is gonna be your. That's gonna be your nickname. You are the Wikipedia of video games. I like that. That's pretty cool. That is your new no That's pretty cool. That's yeah, pretty cool. From now on, your new name is Wiki. So. Okay, I'm gonna be I'm being called R rated wiki. Rated wiki. Okay, rated wiki. Rated wiki. Okay, so we're gonna get out of this <laughs> right now. <laughs> we're gonna get out of Metal Slugs X, which is the remastered version of Metal Slug One and Two, but Metal Slug Two. All right, cool. So yeah, you're gonna see this all the time in the loader screen. So let's get into Metal Slugs Three, folks. All right, so we're jumping around. So we're jumping into this. Yeah, we're jumping around. We're jumping jump, around. Jump, jump, jump. Like get jumpers. Down. Like jumpers. Like the movie Jumpers. Did you like that movie? I did yeah, not like that. I like the concept of it. I thank you. I was because it originally comes from the comic books. Because everyone that I spoke to about Just it, to they said the, the com comics was way better than the movie. The comic books are all way better than yeah. the movie. Even this. It's way better than a set when it comes to the animations. Now that brings the comic books to life. You know, it had a really check good... out Justice League. No, check out Teen Titans. Teen Titans. Judas Contract. Judas Contract. Right. Check that out. You're gonna like that. But, uh, so in Jumbo, Metal Slugs, wait, in Metal Slugs Three, it gets into this uh, an introduction of aircraft now. Oh, so we're gonna, so we're gonna be like flying in the air now, and we're gonna be jumping out the window like Ron Brown. So like you were saying. Oh no, my bad. Yeah, I was gonna ask you. So like with the jump, like especially like a movie like Jumper, uh, I thought it was a great concept, but like very like it could have been better executed. Okay. Like it was, it was. Have it, you ever read, read Jumper? No, I didn't read Jumper. Read you read Jumper, and then when you watch the movie after it, right, right, watch the movie after, and it's gonna explain everybody's characters. Like, okay, they did it because Samuel Jackson played the character exactly who he was supposed to play. Well, that's Is Jackson that the way the dialogue was played out? Was, yeah, it was not. It was corny. Well. Yeah. It, re it really reminded me of a '90s cheesy movie. And that's what it reminded me of, like a Double Dragon. But like stuff like that, you know. But you you find out a lot of these directors they don't read the switching to. So in Metal Slugs Three, we're on the beach now. There's space aliens, as you can see now. There's giant crabs that shooting at me and Aramis. And I'm dying. Oh right my now. God! It's crabs I'm stabbing them. We're gonna stab them. We're gonna eat them. What's up with this homeless dude? This homeless dude is always with nah, me. Nah, nah, that's that's a dude. That's a GI dude. You gotta yeah, say that's true. That's true. Oh wait. Oh, 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 oh. What's that? They gotta go down Oh wait. Oh, speaking of, oh, you ready? Speaking of, oh, uh, I'm doing my little baby Langston. That's my little impersonation of Biggie Langston. Oh, you ready? Biggie Langston, yeah, from wrestling. Oh, Biggie, 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 who is the uh, part of the New Day, um, longest reigning champions of WWE history over the last <laughs> decades. That's yeah, how we're, long. We're talking about like World War, World War. Like you're talking about like. I feel maybe. like I'm in the Bible right now. Oh wait, oh my god. Oh, I no, took no, the no, water. Wait, don't leave me, man. Yo, hey, I'm gonna wait, wait, wait a person to start. I'm gonna keep picking. Yes. Oh, we gotta jump across, jump. Across. All right. All right, wait. Oh, we gotta jump back on the boat. Jump back on the boat. Oh, we gotta go on the boat. Shoot that. Yo, how he trying to save a, shink, a sinking ship? Oh, I'm gonna fell over. You trying to push me over? I push you back in. What are you talking about? Right. Also, this reminds me of Anaconda with J Lo, J -Lo Ice Cube. Yeah, Ice Cube was actually I was just checking out a video. He was on that show, politically incorrect. incorrect. And he put everybody in their place. That's yeah. all I gotta say. Go check it out on YouTube. Go check it out on HBO on demand. He put everybody in his place. He said you ain't gonna sit here and tell me you ain't racist. But we ain't gonna play that. And racism is in everything, folks. In anime and games, it's all around. 
Uh, yeah, you know, he but you ain't gotta be it. He recently got a uh, Hollywood Star uh, Walk of Fame. Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Awesome. Awesome. That's right. I mean, it's well deserved. I mean, he's been exactly. in the business for what, 30, almost 25 years? Yeah, music. He revolutionized music. music. Come on. Come he's on. a producer. Come on. Revolutionized the movie. He put Artists. a lot of people on with him. Come on. Ice Cube, man. Ice Cube. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's say it to him. Come on. Come on, man. So make sure you follow me on all my social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and all Red Superstar. Jump, jump, jump. Also, you can follow Aramis on his website. Oh, I got the tank. Let's go. Go in front, go in front. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. where the giant crab come from? Oh, yeah, giant crab, what are you doing? You all over the place, crabby. Oh, I can oh, shoot. Oh, I didn't know I could shoot missiles. Yeah, you press circle, press circle. Circle for missiles, folks. You just reminded me I got missiles. I can't get a tank. Unlimited power. Oh. Oh, what happened? Oh, help me, old man. Help me. Now, oh. Wait, the whole thing is a power up, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Come on, old man. Oh, I got the girl. She no use it. Oh, speaking of that, SmackDown Live was crazy. So this is Metal Slug 2. This is Metal Slug 3, folks. So we're going to skip out of Metal Slug 3. This was crazy. As you can see, you can this use more intense. aircraft, right? This, this, this was more crazy. Yeah, yeah, crazy. So now we're on 64 graphics. 64. So now we have the Nintendo 64. Remember the Nintendo 64? Mario 64. Golden. Now Mario Kart. Golden now. Mario Kart. Mario Party 1, Mario 3, Party 2, 2, 2, 10, infinity, 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 yeah. infinity, yeah. Is it still going on today? Mario Party Switch. Now they switching up like they thinking they Will Smith. So now we going to the Metal Slug do you, 4. Do you like the Switch? Do I like the Switch? What do you mean by that, Aramis? I'm not, because I just have... threw off such... Oh, you mean Nintendo Switch? Yeah, the Nintendo Switch. Okay, I thought you meant switching. Like, nah, nah, nah. Oh, okay. Nah, I switch like, something. we switching shoes or something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't feel... I couldn't feel your feet. Our big feet. Yes. That's what she said. <laughs> PG! <laughs> PG, folks! Man, somebody got hit with a chair. Good. Somebody in wrestling got hit with a chair shot right now. Sorry. So basically, Metal Slugs 2 is more to feel more like we're still in guerrilla warfare. Mm -hmm. You know, Cuba and stuff like that. Oh, okay. And let's get into this. Now let's do it. Yeah, see how the graphics is enhanced now. Hi, I'm going to play Trevor. He looks like a Trevor. Trevor's a new oh, character. Yeah. Frida is returning, and Nina's new character. Oh, yeah. But who's always there? Marcos. Marcos. And now that we picked the characters, it's long sounding like we're ready to go off. And now we jumped out the chopper. See how the graphics look like now. Now the graphics oh, look more. I got two guns right now. Like gun, like like. Um, of course you got two guns. You go crazy. Die, you devil bird. <laughs> Now we can take these posters. Alright, alright. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Come down. Yeah, how do we get that? I don't know, I can't move closer enough. Is he coming down little by little? Alright, he's wasting time. Yeah, we got we got things go. So if you see the graphics now, it's more like Streets of Rage, oh, the, yeah, uh, yeah. Double Dragon, Street Fighter a little bit of one, you know. Because everybody remembers Street Fighter 2. Everybody remembers Street Fighter 1, which was like Streets of Rage. Ken had the Hadouken, and Ryu was the only one. Shiryuken, Shiryuken, whatever you want to call it. I call it, I call it, I call it, I call it, I'm the hottest in the I'm still undefeated. I'm about to release Tekken next week, and I'm about to be, de be de undefeated in Tekken. You gotta, you gotta bring that back. We gotta do a tournament. We gotta do it like that. Yeah, we could do a tournament, find the home pictures, and yeah, plug with all the superstar. We could do our own little tournament. We could do a little new race, everybody. But what we need bosses out there and stuff like that. Make sure you follow Bozzy's Instagram, Safe D Boz, S A F T E Y, no F A S A F E D E E B O Z Z Y. I like the little scene on I mean to this uh, you got to make sure you check out the falls. It's all coming back, DC, there's a superheroes, um, Flash is on Netflix, go check that out. Orange is new black. 
Uh, Westworth is back. Check that out. Stranger Things season two is coming soon. House of Cards. The House of Cards is out right now, which I'm oh, watching right now. We on motorcycles right we now. Out. We about to get it rolling on the bus. Heading down the highway. New adventure in the open highway. Born to be wild. Born to be wild. Wait, is that our dude right there? Yeah. Why? Wait, oh, so he's helping us. Yeah, he's helping us. Oh, where we getting these missiles, bro? Where we get these rocket launchers? I don't know. I'm just shooting. this game just got crazy. A metal slug floor. Metal slug, I mean, whoop. Metal slug floor. It's just crazy. Metal slug. That actually reminds me of a full metal jacket. Full metal jacket. That's a great movie. Now it is a great movie. That's why in the description of the poem, I said it's time to get full metal slug. Oh, you come with the tongue with the chopper. 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 Oh, you can throw bombs at them. You can throw, oh, you can throw bombs. I just got the gun, man. I can't shoot. Ah! See, this is ain't the uh, type of game that you just hold the button. You really gotta yeah, press the yeah, button, yeah, folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you really, this is how you step up your fighting skills, too. Make sure you go check out the download, the demo of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinity. Airmates, I showed them a preview earlier behind the scenes. Yeah, that's great. We're gonna play that behind the scenes. You just gotta tune out, tune in for the release of that, folks. And also make sure you download keep all you Power Ranger Legacy people. If you subscribe to Loot Crate and you get a Loot Crate this month, the pin gets you a limited edition of the Green Ranger from the Super Power Beatdown. So that's you get the Green Ranger. That's a great. That's an addition character, so deal. I got the character ready. So make sure at the end of the month, you check out the episode. We're going to have the loot crate end of the month uh, theme of June, Alter Egos. So when you think of Alter Egos, what do you think about? Clark King, Superman, Batman, Bruce Wayne, Peter Parker, Spider-Man, Arvex Superstar, Hector. You know, I was thinking of like, Alter Egos, I was like, uh, you know, we're talking about the new ninja. I was talking about, I was thinking of like, when you turn Eagle. That's how he was first introduced. He was the first evil ranger, kicking butt and everybody. But I'm gonna let you finish, and then I'm gonna hit you with a little history. Well, uh, no, I was just, that was just reminding me of like when uh, Rita put that spell on him. Wasn't I'm this? Wasn't this the, the, the what kind of balloon this was called again? Uh, wasn't this in world in history that this balloon type of balloon yeah. was destroyed? Yeah. yeah. Every Wright brothers, the Wright brothers, or something like that. Nah, nah. It was a very funny balloon that like got onto some AI uh, wires and uh, blew up. I just can't think of the name. Yeah. But you see balloons like this in stadiums and stuff like that. But back to Aaron, that's what he was saying. No, nah, it was just reminding me of like back. You know, this is Throwback Thursday. Uh, I was just thinking of like that. Episode I mean, 82. Episode. And we're streaming to you, Metal Slugs and all of you. Think about like the old school, like Power Rangers when like, Tommy was first introduced when he was the the Green Ranger, and I was just like, remember when him and Jason they were fighting in the tournament, yes. and they came into it like what was it a sudden death? And it was yes. like they were tied, yes. and then it was like yo, because like at that time nobody beat Jason because he was the best fighter, yep. but Tommy was his equal, yep. and it was just like a dope dope scene that it was like because they were both real martial artists. Yes, it was, and like you know it was just it just reminded me of that scene right there. Now, speaking of that, in the Japan version of Super Sentai, right? Mm -hmm. The people that Go was... Wiki. No, Kaigoga. Kaigoga? Yeah, that's what it's called. But in that one, and we also gonna bring you Metal Slug 5 right now, folks. As you can see, the logo, it looks like Metal <coughs> Gear. It does look a little bit like, like Metal Gear. Gear. So this was released when Ori System was out now. PlayStation, Sega, uh, CD, no, Sega. Dreamcast. Oh, so we like 2001 so, around. Nintendo Q and the original and the Xbox. So now you got all the systems out. The Metal Slugs was there. You see the graphics out there changed and advance. Kind of look like Scooby Doo in the Mystery Game now. Like Mystery Peace Theater. Exactly. And you got new characters. You got Frio. Oh. Frio came back. Trauma came back. Eren, that's a new one. Kind of looks like the guy from Yu Gi Oh! Duelist. Oh, yeah, he does look like uh, Yu Gi Oh! A little bit like you, right? Yeah, a little bit. And see how they jump out like it was a carnival or something, like a game show host? So now look at that. Now it looks like we enter the world of Rambo. Like we like in the Amazon. We're in the Amazon. Rambo was a good movie as well. Real fire movie. I love Rambo. And there's another Rambo movie coming out. 
Really? I just want to check that out. Yeah, so that's a song. ain't giving that up yet. Not yet. That's, that's, just, that's a real ticket right there. We're coming to the end of the show, folks. Thank you for tuning in to the Plug with Arbex Superstar. Marvex Superstar. This is episode 82. We are streaming on Throwback Thursday, Metal Slugs, and Ology. Special guest on Finding Home Pictures, Amos Martinez. What's up, everybody? Oh, we died. Dude, look at so that. let folks know how much fun this Metal Slug is, how fun you've been having on this plug with all this Metal Slug so far. I'm definitely and this on. is the second appearance, folks. So I, I, I should get like a gift next time I get on, right? That you want a gift? Exclusive. I got a gift for you. Let me look for a gift for you. Here's a gift for you. I give everybody a guest here from Midtown Comics is a, a bookmark. Oh, They're free. You. You get them, we encourage reading out here on the Plug With All Rex Superstar. And we know you like reading books. Any books you want to get out to the people out there, what you're reading? Right or what you used to read, like comic book wise or books, Ivor Einstein, anything? Oh, uh, well, like right now, the one I'm reading right now is uh, How to Declutter Your Mind. Uh, basically, it's about a book about a self learning, self help book. Self help book. It's a self help book basically trying to teach you the take away negativity from your mind you know i know this show is very positive positive vibes positive only. vibes only and like i'm trying to make sure on some rve power things. to pop a, a positivity is a super power exactly and i'm trying to gain that super power so i'm learning i'm reading that book and just learning how to be more positive but uh um, read spider-man comic books bro it doesn't matter which spider-man comic book read it they will help you out while you're reading that book read a comic book of spider-man and you're gonna see the same similarities because mm -hmm. you can learn parallels. Exactly. It's parallels and stuff. Especially that's the thing about comics is that they have a lot of ah, Sorry, I had to get hype right there. Especially with the comics like uh, Legend of the Hidden Temple. Oh, I remember that. Especially with comics, there's a lot of morality in comics. That's why I always love Marvel comics, because they always talk talked about real things. About like real situations. So does in my DC life. too. So does DC DC too. DC is more graphic. You know what I mean? More into it like that. But I mean like that is like it's Oh, like, oh, oh. It's like just imagine a S S C S I. Like D, like if DC did a S C S I. Like that's how that's how it is. More murder mysteries, more entwined. Like Gotham the series. Go check out Gotham the series. Uh, Go check it out on Netflix. DC Marvel is more like kiddish, that's why Disney picked them up. Because it's more kid it's like being on a playground. Mm. It's like watching an episode of Rugrats. You know what I'm saying? And then when you look at DC, it's more looking at SWAT Cats, the Radical Squadron. SWAT Cats. They need to bring that back. That is coming back. Really? It should be coming back next uh, year or 2019. It's in development now as we speak. Because uh, right now, the, uh, a couple years back, they brought back um, uh, Thundercats, right? Thundercats came back, and also, if you check out any other episode, I did. Uh, I was showing the six part series from the comic book of. Thundercats and He-Man mashup. Oh, okay. And then what was cool about that, you see He-Man and, and, and Lion, the Lord of the Thundercats, fight each other. And then you see the Sword of Omens go against the Sword of Grey Skull. And then you see um, Mumra, and then you see Skeletor fuse together and become Mumator. 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 Okay. Which is crazy because what happened was Skeletor found a way to destroy Mumra, he grounded his ashes, created the juice, and he drank Mumra, and they became one. But the whole thing was they could switch between each other, like whoever has the strongest mind, strongest mind, like yeah. Hulk and um, Bruce Banner in the way. Right, right. So, so they learned. So they was going back and forth in the comic, which is cool to see that drawing, and then. Okay. To see them finally work together, to see them finally work together, and you see Mumator, you see Skeletor and Mumra fuse into one, which That's is a crazy concept because they came all powerful being. They released the Eternal Living, which is the source of Mumra's power. That's kind of like when Brainiac and uh, Lex Luthor kind of fused together. Yes, and they Brainiac and Darkseid fused together. And also Brainiac speaking of fusing, of uh, uh, fusing Ultron. And Sigma from Mega Man X. When that new Marvel's Captain um, Infinity comes out, that's a that's a twist right there. That was that made me like happy. Right there. Shout out to all the viewers out there, I'm Marvel Superstar. This is our special guest, Amos Martinez from Finding Home Pictures. Best actor out there that I know. And we have we have a new viewer. Oh, yeah. We Shout have Doctor Adventure. Shout out to Doctor Adventure for tuning in. Thank you so much. Sub Hector, how you doing? I guess you must know me or something like that. 
Well, shout out to Dr. Adventure. Thank you for tuning in to episode 82. We're streaming Metal Slug Anthology. Make sure you uh, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to my Twitch channel and you never miss uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 to 7 p.m. live on Twitch, www.twitch.tv forward slash RX Superstar. Download the app Twitch or if not, save it in your web browser and your favorites. Make sure you follow the Facebook uh, page and check out all the promos, articles, all the people out there. Oh, I didn't know you could slide. Hey, Chase, what's up? What's up, Chase? Chase is actually my trainee, JDF.com brother. Oh, that's what's up, Chase. What's up, Chase? So, what's up, Chase? How you Chase, doing? this is Aramis right here from Finding Home Pictures. You can catch him on his website and stuff like that. He says, this, let's go Mets, let's go Yankees, let's go all baseball, yeah. let's go all sports. He's a Met now. He's a Mets fan. He's a Mets fan. He's a uh, Mets fan. He's a Mets fan. I'm a huge Yankee fan. It's okay. We Yankee fans. It's all brotherly love. It's all brotherly love. It's all New York love. It's all New York love. Brotherly love. Actually, Chase is not from New York. Where is he from? Chase is actually. I'm not going to give his location. <laughs> we keep that confidential. No stalking. Yes. No stalking. No stalking. So that was Metal Slug Five, folks, and the graphics was crazy. This was now CD now. As it's going on, it's like it's more and more intense. Like you just like you gotta really pay attention because like not only the it just gets harder and harder as it goes along. Yes. I know how you feel about it. But yes. But like, well, you gotta remember these are metal slugs, so each metal slug has about twenty levels. Uh, okay. Each level decreases, decreases. And then the you difficulty. got six. We got seven games here. So that's how many hours a game. That's like three. That's a whole week of being in, in your house. Not really. It's like three days. Three days, like seventy-two hours. So for like us, it's like an hour and a half. <laughs> we can do that. That's what we're gonna do after the show. Too. We're gonna we're gonna basically play the whole game all the way through. So all Me so Metal Slug Six kind of reminds me of like all the army games that came out. Metal Slug Two, Army of Two, um, basically everything that got remastered all over again because all these games get remastered again and again and again. Why? Because they're freaking awesome. Like Gears of War. Gears of War, yes. Gears of War is awesome. Shout out to all the Xboxes that's watching us right now. Shout out to all the PlayStation Live that's watching us right now. So in this one, Metal Slug, now we got something new. Easy mode and hard mode. So which one are we gonna do? Let's go hard, baby. Let's go. You know, we're gonna go hard or go home. So we get into that. Now look at the board. There's more. Oh, there's more people. Yes. Oh, see now you get, you get to see how their speed, their power, the defense. Exactly. You're getting a, a little more uh, sophisticated right now. We're getting more more card, uh, player card basically. Yeah, player card. Marco. All right, so, so I'm always gonna pick Marco. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've been playing Marco since the Rob. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to pick. So oh. you gotta see in yeah, this one you got a time, time limit. Right. See the, time the other limit. one they have time limit, see? So now Metal uh, Metal Slug 6, now we're on the advanced systems now. Like Xbox 2 or whatever it was, 360, Xbox 360, right. Nintendo Wii. Nintendo Wii. And we're on the PlayStation 2 and 3. PlayStation 2 and 3. Because remember on the 3 when it came out, you could play the PlayStation 2 game and Wii. Because that was a, like the PlayStation 3 was the best system of all time. All times. Think so I think so because much. it was the console that let you go back into the original, but and only then get a second. But only a couple, like only like the original PS3. Like See how the graphics are more enhanced, more shadow, more realistic. But uh, wasn't it that like, kind of little Disney feel to it, like Aladdin, like the, the Tarzan? Uh, I don't know if you remember Tarzan and stuff. And then look, we got these bars now that we power up. See how we got the full screen? See how we're blocking that now? Oh, uh, okay. So it's like more, it's more like 18 now. Yes. There you go. There you go. More 480, more 480, more 480, 720. 720, actually, because that's what was, was the P3 because it introduced the Blu ray player. That is right. Yeah, right. The only console that had a Blu ray player that was killing it over any market that was selling, any any company that was selling Blu rays, PlayStation 2 right. was killing it, and PlayStation 3 was killing it. If you, if you want a Blu ray player, you get a PlayStation. Exactly, and that was it. And you get the best thing, and then you get to go online. Yep. And it was no subscription at that time. Now it's a subscription. That's the PS4, you can stream now, it's more like more PC now. Which I kind of like, I kind of dig it. 
because also Metal Slugs was also out on uh, PC. It's also out on PC, so you can mod it if you want to. You can make all these little robots look like Star Wars movies, basically. I would like the Star Wars. Uh, I would really say it's one of those back in that thing. See how we get coins now? Like it's Mario or Sonic the Hitchhog. But remember, Sonic and Mario made the coin pop. We made it hot. Crash Bandicoot at that time. Which is coming out. It will release on June 30th. Make sure you pre order that. It's all the classic. It's coming out this year. Yes. It's always going to be remastered. Yes. It's already remastered. Released on June 30th this year. It's coming out. We're all going to stream that, folks. So, you know, be hyped. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited for that. I, I was a big Crash fan. I'm still a Crash fan. Like it's pretty cool to see cosplays out there through the Crash fan. Oh, really? That's cool. It's pretty cool. Like when you when you see me at when you go to New York Comic Con, you're gonna see all that stuff. You definitely going this year, right? Yeah, I'm always there. Everybody know me. And make sure you guys check out um our Garden State um Comic Fest, which is in July. Check out their website, go to your local comic book store, Midtown Comics, get the more information. Also, Eternal Con, folks. At the Nassau Coliseum, the remodeled, rebuilt hey. Nassau Coliseum. Yeah, that, that thing's been, uh, been closed for a long time, right? Yeah, now it's revamped, remodeled, brand new. Looking good. They got good food, prices jacked up, but it's a good time. Uh -huh. So, check that out and everything. And Money in the Bank, basically. So what happened on SmackDown Live, we're going to have a, uh, another uh, women's Money in the Bank on SmackDown Live, history in the making, because of the controversial decision of a man walking up and grabbing the briefcase and handing it to the woman. But there's no rules in the Money in the Bank, but now there are, but whatever the case may be, Carmella's going to do it again, or let's see if Charlotte can do it. Let's see, you got two on SmackDown Live. I'm down to Charlotte, I think she's but he's a big Ric Flair fan. Ah, uh, Ric Flair's my spirit. That's his spiritual animal. If Ric Flair was an animal, he'd be out. Because he's woo! <laughs> he'd be the owl at the same time. He'd go woo. Yeah, how are we gonna kill this? I, mean, I think we move back. We gotta move back, right? Oh, see, how the, see how the gun. He's throwing rocks, yo. Yeah. Oh, he's throwing rocks. Boulders. Remember, see how the graphics sound? See how the, uh, the change of the weapons? Oh, it sounds whoa. like Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like more spacious. It sounds like a little bit of G.I. Joe. See, see, how nice. see how nice I am? See how nice I am? So, we're coming to the end of the show, folks. I'm Rick Superstar. This has been a fun and exciting episode with our special guest, Aramis Martinez. We're playing Metal Slugs and Ology, which that means is all Metal Slugs. And for a great price on the PlayStation Network, you can't beat a price of ten ninety nine. Ten ninety four. Well, you got games? seven games. That's great, like, right? That's awesome. That's awesome. Just make sure you get that. Check out your local combo stores. Also, I wanted to show this one. Go get Power Rangers sixteen. Lord Durkin, right there. They stopped him. You read this one first. You Check read this, this and this is right after it. This is the continuation, okay? You get this and you read this one. It's the continuation right after this. So basically they stop Lord Durkin. The Rangers are back. Tommy and Billy are back to their world. And also the spoiler I'm gonna give, Lord Durkin is in our world now. But does he have his powers or anything? No, we don't know. But Saba's there and it's a lot of things that's going on, folks. And also go check out Ninjak versus the Valley Universe. Ninjak versus hashtag Ninjak versus Aramis. You need to get into the Valiant Universe, brother. I definitely gotta check it you out. You gotta brother. check out Jason Day and Frank, Green Ranger, the GOAT, White Ranger, Black Ranger, Dino Thunder, Dr. O. He is playing Bloodshot. He is Bloodshot. And uh, Ninjak versus the Valiant Universe, Valiant Entertainment, Valiant Comic Books. Bat the Sun is producing it. The Ninjak series is a movie coming out. Ninjak is played by Michael Roll. You know him in the Superpower Beatdowns. He played Nightwing at one point. He's a famous actor. He's been around. And then you got Derek there. He's on Freeform, which used to be ABC Family. He's on the show Baby Daddy. But he's playing Mana X of War, Ninjak. And this is the cover of Ninjak and Shadow Man. Shadow Man is the truth. Shadow Man is an old school character. Just man, just that's powers of shadow. Like he come out of nowhere. Mm. Like he's just crazy. Like, like he like just that, sweep you. It's like that dude shade from like DC. Yeah, it's, like it's one just of like that. Shades. But more. 
and basically check out the Valiant universe. It's basically Marvel and DC like combined and just like on like on roids or something like just jacked up trying to play the championship match. So check out this episode. Check out these graphics. Man of Exo War, Shadow Man is all linked up. Live Wire is coming out. Magic Storm Unleashed. Magic Storm, which is her lightning power, is just unleashed like crazy. That's Live Wire that's coming out. 2018 is going to be a crazy year, big year, season 2 of RX Superstar, plug with RX Superstar, and we're still having the guests battle, like, <laughs> I'm, eventually we're going to have the ghettos battle, uh, the guests battle each other and ghetto, fight it. Ghetto battle. <laughs> we should have a ghetto, ghetto battle. battle. A ghetto battle. Whatever your ghetto is. And also I want to so let, let everybody know, get some Gamefly, folks, subscribe to Gamefly, it saves money in your pockets. It's like having Netflix without the disc, but you can rent movies and rent a game. I suggest you get the two disc package, it's way better. Don't do yourself with the one package, do yourself with the two package so you can get a movie and a game and play. Because you can get the game and the movie that goes together and you can watch. You don't play the game yeah, and watch the movie. You know how it goes like especially, that. Especially if you don't want to spend money on a game. You exactly. take it out, play it first, and then like, oh, you know you what, I'm going to buy it. You can back anytime, right. you know, you keep up your subscription and everything. And also, I want to give you some news, some big news of Spider-Man Homecoming. It's coming now. Michael Keaton is the man. He's playing Vulture. He's playing Vulture. Vulture. He's the man. And also, it's also there's going to be, at the end, I think, an introduction of Venom or the symbiote. Some way, somehow. The symbiote. But Spider-Man Homecoming is getting a spin-off. Venom is getting his own movie. And it's going to be Venom and Carnage is going to be in the movie. Ken Arnish is the bad guy. And also, I just want to say this, but I've been holding this back. There's going to be a Venom-verse, folks. If you ever heard of the Spider-Man-verse, with all the different Spider-Mans from different universes, here comes me the freaking Venom in all different universes. And I'm letting Aramis see this right now. Oh, this looks amazing. See all the different... This is the Venom we grew up with. Yeah, that's classic. So there's a female Venom. Female, that's Mary Jane. That's a, who's this Venom? This that guy. Venom right there, you can see him on the, the Spider-Man Web Warriors. That's the Venom right there. Eddie Brock. There's all different versions of Eddie Brock, Eddie, Mary Jane. There's even hybrids of him. There's, there's crazy symbiotes. There's even a even Punisher was a symbiote that he took over. Like Ghost Rider. Ghost symbiote. Rider 2 was taken over because everyone who knows the comic book world, the symbiotes took over the Marvel Universe. Everybody got infected. You name it, he got infected. You name five people right now, they got infected. And who saves the day? Me. You're, you're the hero that everybody needs and everyone loves. So, we're out of here. This has been another episode of Club with Super Star. Let everyone know again, Amherst, where they can find you. And also, check out their new series they're coming out with. Americano on their YouTube page is a web series. You can follow them and follow me. You can check the description on the bottom. The bottom, you see the description right there, the bottom, right after the, the donation. Hit the donation button and then check out the description. Click the link and it'll directly lead you to them. And this is what? Executive producer. Um, assistant he's the, director. Assistant director, sorry, assistant director. Hernet Fred is out there. Production H is out there. Make sure you check out Finding Home Pictures on their website. Just check out the description. Me and Aramis is going to keep playing. Mm -hmm. We're going to finish our popcorn. Gonna I'm going to tell them more about this, this Venomverse. I definitely want to know about that. This Venomverse is going to be crazy. Check, go right now and get the Venom comic book so you can understand what's going on. And any comic book you see with a little bit of Venom or talk, or even when you go to Midtown Comics, talk to the guys. They talk to the employers that work there. They love talking about the stuff. It doesn't matter. They read everything. They know about all that stuff. It's cool. It's stuff. Okay, I got a donkey. I'm ready. I'm excited. Okay, he has a donkey. I want to get him back in this. We're going to continue playing. We're going to show one more last boss, and then we're out of here. All right, let's do that. So now we're more Independence Day now. So we're fighting. Oh, we got aliens. Aliens, 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 aliens again. Aliens won't leave us alone. I, I, want, I, I need my donkey. That's what I need. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm down for a game that has Why a donkey. Why like a donkey? <laughs> Shrek is coming out with a new um, movie coming out. But I think it's more like, not a movie, I think it's more of a series that they did on Netflix. But I think they're going to keep continuing it. And also Kung Fu Panda, folks, is coming out with another series, folks. And go check out Teen Titans Go, Ben 10 Go. 
Scooby Doo Go, <laughs> all the things that re re represent uh, resemble things. And also, Amos is a big fan of Teen Titans and Justice League. Young Justice 3, soon coming out 2018. Make sure you check out the Defenders. And I don't care if he gets mad at me. Aramis was on, because he's an actor and he does any role. Even he does the standings. And I don't care, because I see him in Law and Order before. <laughs> he was in Iron Fist. He was, in the, he was around the cage fight with the girl. Shout out to all the viewers. Oh yeah. Yeah, YJ3, yeah, that's gonna be dope. That is gonna be awesome. That's gonna be dope, Chase. Make sure you check out trainmejdf.com. I always talk about it because it works, folks. It's great for the mind and the body. It teaches you discipline. It introduces you to martial arts of all styles, folks. And I love Muay Thai. Like, it's real cool. Hey, Lynch. I listen, I'm a big fan of martial arts. Martial, uh, Amherst has a martial back background himself. I believe it is Taekwondo. Uh, he water, my friend. How long have I been saying that? Forever, right? Since we was little kids. I knew Amherst for years, folks. We out here doing positive things. And we love the geek culture. Oh, I got him. It is always fun on the on the set of finding home pictures, folks. It's always fun. So if you never had fun on finding home pictures, then you need to not come here. Your, your service is You are excommunicated. You are fired! Damn it, you <laughs> took it from my head, yo. I was gonna say that. Also, we're big wrestling fans, so as you can see, there's a lot of wrestling, wrestling references. Fans, everything. I will be at SummerSlam, I will be at NXT. You will see me there. Shout out to Yep. Go download the community. Yep. Y E P. That's the squad out there. <coughs> Shout out to Barcade. Shout out to Legends Bar. Barcade is a cool place you go and play video games, food, get some beer. I don't drink beer, but you know we always have fun. He don't want an NBA chance. We got a team. Uh, we're tied to NBA chance. Start. Listen, we were we were t way before we started this show. I was like, Yo, NBA we gotta Jans play. We gotta play tired. NBA Jam. We got tied. So you might see a live stream of that, folks, on Facebook. You never know. Definitely. Tune in. Follow so follow this, my social media weekly. This is a rivalry that's been happening since high school. Okay, he, he don't he don't want me in NBA Jam. He just doesn't want it. Like he just he yeah, knows he know how much of a challenge I am to him because he can beat everybody, but he can't beat me. What he talking? He talking? He talking Pampers right now? <laughs> <laughs> He talking pamphlets right now. The adult ones or the baby ones? It don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you started with the babies, you just went to the adults now. Now, but look what we're fighting. We're fighting like some Hitler Nazi stuff yeah. right now. That's what I was told. We got so You take one side, I take the other side. Right, we, we got to kill the big gun. Okay. The, yeah, but I'm taking care of these little guns so like that we won't get hit. Because right. these rockets, I think, are heat seekers or something like that. We got a white mask. We got a white mask. See how they come back around? All right, where are we going to get that heart? You gotta, gotta get that hard for our RX Superstar. That's right. Tune in Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 to 7 p.m. live at www.twist.tv forward slash RX Superstar. And also, don't forget the sun, the plug with RX Superstar Sunday Funday lineup. That's that lineup before Monday comes, so you wanna get fresh and lean up. So we got the new Dragon Ball Z Super. They're entering the tournament of power. Frieza has joined the Z Squad. Also, Tiger Mask W for all you New Japan, all you wrestling fans, check that out. Or if you want to just check it out, just check it out. Also, Sailor Moon R, we're bringing you first season of Sailor Moon R, because Sailor Moon Crystal is over, folks. So if you want to check out any other episode, check out the Plug With Armored Superstars Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash Plug With Armored Superstars. Oh, now it's great, now. Yeah, it's great, it's great, it's great, go ahead. Oh, we lost. Wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 I'm gonna make sure I get 
And also check out the blast from the past, which I show uh, in each episode from Black from Bass or Black Blast, blast, blast from, from the, the past. past. Like I could say like Back to the Future or X-Men or Spider-Man from the 90s, Iron Man, um, um, um Wildcats. Wildcats. Um yeah. anything, cool. Escaflone and stuff like that. And yeah, pretty much mummies. The Mummy's Alive, matter of fact, and everything. Make sure you check out the Monday Through Sunday feature film, Gargoyles Awakening. Check it out, Amherst. Go back in time. Goliath, Demona, Brooklyn, Broadway, everybody, Xanatos. And also, on Sunday Funday lineup, Kamen Rider, Matt, Black RX. Kamen Rider, Black RX, Episode 6 will be releasing. And... Anything you want to say to the viewers before we go? No, thanks for watching. Uh, check out the plug every Thursday, what, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Plug with RX Superstar. RX Superstar on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And on Sunday, you have a new show. With, uh, what is it? No, no it's new show. What he's talking about is the Sunday Funday lineup. Sorry, Sunday Funday lineup. Check, check out, it out all the. If you like your moment, your Saturday morning cartoons, that's the same feeling as you're going to get. I might show Johnny Quest. Or that, Herculoids. Since that, you mentioned Herculoids, Herculoids. for Aramis, and I'm going to tag him in it. I'm going to show Blast from the Past, an episode of Herculoids. Just Please for do. Aramis, and I'm going to tag him in it. So we're out of here, folks. This has been another installment. This is episode 82 of the Plug with RX Superstar. I'm RX Superstar. This is Aramis Martinez, and we'll see you next Tuesday. Shout out to Bozzy. Shout out to everybody that tuned in. Shout out to Dr. Adventure. Get your Ric Flair on. Woo! Later, folks. Let's continue this game. All right.